Circumstances set into view, they can't deny the truth forever. I mean, sooner or later, oh yes, they'll have to accept the fact that their world is not quite the cup of tea they expected it to be. Of course, you keep stating the obvious, Oscar, and it bothers me highly. My apologies, oh great one. Perhaps I just wanted to get clear to you what of the situation I feel is. But what if they're not as oblivious as we think they are? I mean, we are no way schemers. I feel I'm but an amateur at this. I feel we are but amateurs at this. And it's awkward. I get this cold feeling in the back of my neck that this is all going to come crumbling down. The foreshadowing of some, of some greater evil. Ignore the feeling. We both know what you have to do. We can't let this insignificant sensation hold you back now. Our mission is almost complete. We have to leave now anyway. Very well. Uh, they're expecting us soon anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember this. This picture was taken the same day that Anna had the situation with her car breaking down. Uh, that was so long ago, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember she had to walk to that one gas station at like <laughs> 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that was one crazy night. Oh, but when she finally came over at like 6 a.m., that was such a surprise. And speaking of surprises, here's another one from yours truly. No, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Oh, Marcy, a toaster. I love it. Such a nice gift. Hey, Marcy, what I created there. I think somebody's watching a couple too many TV commercials. Hey, all I know is that one can't do without a toaster. So what if it's a rather standard what he gets? As long as it's a gift from the heart. With a little help from the Home Depot, that is. <laughs> yes, thank you. I look forward to burning numerous pieces of bread in this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that. you could have made it. Yes, I must apologize for a somewhat late arrival. It was... Oh, the bus. The bus we were riding on had some slight technical difficulties. Nothing too serious. Although I do consider being late to a dear friend's bridal shower to be quite a big deal. Oh, think nothing of it. And who is this? A friend? Oh, oh so be me. Um, yes, this is a friend of mine who is visiting from another state. This is Oscar. Oscar Abigail. Abigail Oscar. I do hope you don't mind me intruding upon this, but I know it can sometimes be a, a personal event. Not at all. I'm delighted to have more guests, since these guys can be such a bore sometimes. Well, come on in. What state are you from exactly? Oh, I forgot to mention that. Uh, that's quite unfortunate. I apologize. Daphne has always been a little out of it. <laughs> that's me, all right. Although I'm not entirely wrong to talk. So what state are you from? You never said exactly. Oh, Georgia, of course. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's my break out from work, and um, I decided why not spend the weekend with my great friend to have tea. Oh, I see. I almost forgot. Guess what I have for you, Miss Bride's tea? But it has still in my toaster right here. No, I'm afraid I walked right past the home appliance department. Here it is. Ta-da! A brand new pillow! A pillow? Oh, thoughtful, you little rascal. Lord knows I could use one. Denny always hogs every one. There's a funny story behind it, actually. So how is Denny, exactly? I'm dying to know. Oh, fine. He'll be the 
best husband. He's been so faithful. I love him to bits. There's nothing in this world that can not keep you apart. What about your friends, Abigail? You never stop to think about them. Hey, I really don't think. No, you don't think, do you? Because you have no feelings? No love for anyone but your significant other? Fools! You didn't realize what hardships one has had to go through to see your happiness now? And you just disregard their feelings in a split second. What? What are you guys all talking about? Oh, you know, Abby, dear, don't play dumb with me. We've known all along about your friends, about your plans, about Denny. Oh, we know. We all know. Stop the row. Your all being ridiculous. You must be ridiculous. Putting this get together, trying to make up for lost times with friends you never see anymore. The ones you never see because of the new light in your eye. The one special one. What else would they have for them, huh? What if it's dead? Please stop. You're all acting crazy. Oh, we are, are we? I beg to differ. Oh, yes. The time has come. We know how everything stands now. Oscar? Good night, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.